Hello. Uh, well, in today's short video, I'm going to look at three books, but they're all very small, as you can see, quite small, handy books. They are appropriately called handbooks. They're the Reads editions of the Skipper's Handbook, the Reads Weather Handbook, and the um, Reads Ocean Handbook, which is for those looking at ocean navigation and uh, everything ocean mainly Astro Nav. The great thing about these three books is they're easy to pack in a bag. If I was going to go for any one book, it would be the Reed's Skipper's Handbook, which is um, it's only small. It is packed full of useful information. So if you are even a relatively experienced leisure sailor, there is going to be something in this book worth you taking with you. It's got anything and everything you can think of. So just really briefly here to look at what we start with. It looks initially at things like Mercator charts and mnemonic charts. Uh, talks you through the difference between um, the rum line and the great circle route and basic chart work, scales and everything else. So if you are already um, uh, a skipper or maybe an RWA day skipper or something like that, none of that should be new to you. But it's all there. And then it's got a little bit of an introduction to chart symbols and chart corrections and how variation and deviation works and how to apply it. And uh, it looks at things like uh, the compass and compass swinging, compass conversion. And then it talks through things like leeway, allowing for leeway and all the rest of it. Looks into tides. So it goes into tides in enough detail for you to understand everything and also to see uh, how to work out things like um, uh, how much water you've got under you and how much space you have over you in terms of air draft. And then after, as you can see, there's quite a lot of tidal stream information, interpolation uh, for more advanced computation of rates, uh, which you would learn if you were doing a coastal skipper or yacht master. And then um, it talks you through all the normal chart work and how to apply leeway and variation and deviation. As you can see, there's quite a bit of that. Things like uh, how to do a three-point fix, how to do a running fix, using transits, electronic navigation, how to use GPS, the, the downsides to using GPS and electronic navigation, what to look out for, the pitfalls. A little bit about radar, more on tides. A bit about uh, dipping heights and how to establish distance off using a sextant. Um, um, as I say, air heights, uh, air drafts, rules of the road, collision regulation. So it goes through that and you can see here it's quite well, it's, it's, it's well and simply illustrated. So uh, it goes through things like um, vessel lights and specifically things like the degrees that light, certain lights should be seen. Now in reality sometimes that can be a little bit different. Just because things have moved or there's reflections and all that sort of stuff. But at least it gives you an indication of exactly what you should see and how and when. So it goes to the rules of the road and lights at night, day shapes, voyage, different types of voyage, uh, then SOLAS regulations, things like helicopter rescue, all stuff that would be covered on an ROA course, but it's got it all here in condensed form. And then it talks through things even like flags, uh, a little bit about weather, so it's a sort of a distilled version of the Reed's weather book. And then um, anchoring, types of anchor, uh, shipping forecasts, uh, how to tie the boat up, different techniques for springing on and springing off a dock and how you should use them. Um, and then the basics of sailing, points of sail and the basic knots. Even a bit about inland waterways if you're into that whole thing. So it's a tiny little book, but it has pretty much everything in it. I would thoroughly recommend that as a skipper, you might want to take that with you or even as a watch leader or a crew member. That in your bag is not a bad little investment, relatively light and small and useful. And then briefly on top of that, you've got the Reed's weather book. And you can see from this, this just goes into weather in more detail. So it talks about uh, effects of uh, current and tide uh, against wind, land effect, fog, sea breezes, 
how to read a synoptic chart, a little bit about clouds, weather forecasts, weather terms, you know, what is a force five, what is a, uh, what is a, um, a rough sea, how big are the waves in a rough sea, all that sort of stuff. So you can very quickly go from your weather forecast to this, if you haven't got it in your head and you can check very quickly. So it's not uh, a massive book that you've got to carry with you on passage. And then last but not least, there's the Reed's Ocean Handbook. So as the name suggests, this is largely to do with the ocean sailor. A large part of it is based on navigation and astro navigation. Uh, there's bits here as well about route planning, which is an important part of crossing oceans. So looking at when to cross, where to cross, waypoints, that sort of thing. Um, and then it talks also about things like tropical revolving storms, TRSs, and hurricanes, or cyclones, um, or whatever part of the world you're in. And um, it also talks about ocean currents, what causes them and how to allow for them and plan for them. Quite a bit there. It talks through passage planning, it talks through radio, heavy weather, spares and tool advice, a little bit about berthing and anchoring, self-steering, downwind rig, so things like how to sail downwind safely, talks about polling out, etc. So it's it's all in here, but a large part of this is astro navigation. And I would say you, you need really to have understood at some point ocean and astro nav before this book is the best book for you. But if you are going to do your sights offshore on an ocean passage, then this would be a great book to take with you because it sort of reminds you about how to reduce sights, etc. So those are the three books. To say there's the Reed's Skipper's Handbook, which I thoroughly recommend. And then in addition to those, the Reed's Weather Handbook, which is um, a cracking little addition to your mini library in your bag. And then if you are doing ocean crossings and um, you're not that experienced with reducing sights and using a sextant and calibrating it, etc., then maybe the Reed's Ocean Handbook, which is again small together. They're not even the size of a small radio and um, really useful to carry with you when you're uh, sailing, especially if you are a skipper and you just want a little bit of extra confidence to know that when you get somewhere and you don't understand one tiny part, you can look in, dip into here very quickly and, uh, and be sure that you uh, are doing the right thing. Okay, so that's a review of the Reed's Skipper's Handbooks. I hope you found this short video tutorial useful. If you did, please click the like button. This helps promote the video on YouTube. If you've got any of your own tips or experience you'd like to share, or you've got an idea for a video, let me know in the comments section below. And if you aren't already a subscriber, consider subscribing and remember to click the little bell so you're notified when I release my next video. There are various links that might interest you in the description section under this video. Until next time, sell safe.